as we celebrate Houston's very own Beyonce today and the release of her new album, Cowboy Carter, the Human Rights Campaign's HBCU program released a syllabus surrounding Beyonce's previous album, Renaissance. So joining us in studio to talk more about this syllabus is Prairie View a and University professor, Dr. Janelle Hope. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming in. So talk about the significance of Beyonce's album within the context of historically black colleges and universities. Absolutely. And it's so exciting to be able to talk about yeah. someone who's homegrown, who grew up in the neighborhood where uh, mm. Texas Southern University is. So throughout this album, as well as Lemonade, we see major themes where Beyonce is certainly calling back to the rich history of historically black colleges and universities oh, really? via the, 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 the band, but also thinking about some of the local histories. Um, with her album Renaissance, we see lots of major themes in particular about the black queer and trans experience, mm. as well as this sort of reclamation of black house music and, and disco that really is infused throughout this uh, that, that album. I'm, I mean, really, it, it, inf it influenced her. That's why certainly. she, that's why it's, it makes those appearances, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Oh, look at how gorgeous she is. What I love about artists like Beyonce, but uh, m most importantly her, she's she's genius at this. You know, she takes that influence, right? The influence that she, that, that people have had on her, and she makes a platform for that representation to connect with those people, to, to ensure those people feel heard, right? Absolutely, and I think we saw that so strongly with the release of Renaissance, the tour that happened that really just took over not only here Houston but globally where you saw millions of people come out really sort of galvanizing around this sort of ode to black mm -hmm, queer and mm -hmm. trans folks in that album her sort of um, discussion of her uncle Johnny right being this mm -hmm. person who uh, passed away due to the HIV AIDS uh, complications is really shining a light on some of those experiences of black queer and trans folks and so I'm really excited to be here with you all today to talk about the human rights co uh, campaign and the syllabus that they are putting out to really provide an academic supplement yes. uh, to the album so tell us how you plan to incorporate the syllabus into what you teach at Prairie View a and M. Yes, so this is so exciting. I actually did this in 2018 when Lemonade came out. Uh -huh. There was a Lemonade syllabus that was crowdsourced. And so I'm really looking forward to incorporating some of the HRC's um, syllabus into my existing race, class, and gender in America course. There's some major- but what does oh. that mean with the syllabus? Like, oh, what is, absolutely. Like, what is that, what is so exactly a syllabus that um, would be recommended readings, um, possibly assignments that you can use that sort of draw on major themes that come out of the, the uh -huh. music itself, right? Mm -hmm. so a way that we can bring students into the classroom is, hey, you've been listening to Renaissance, you're interested in Heated, you see yourself as an alien <laughs> superstar. Well, we have a little bell hooks, we have a little Patricia Hill Collins, we have some well, they readings. They can identify with yes. that. We have a so place for you. More. There's yeah. some yeah. Really like a historical book or something. Absolutely, there's some readings that can actually ground you in some of the things that Beyonce is talking about more broadly in her, her music. Yeah, because some people scoff at the idea of like, oh, you have a Beyonce class, but that's not really exactly what it is. We see it as a way to be able to invite more students into yeah. the class. And what's what's the reaction? What's the engagement? Oh, the students are absolutely interested because this yeah. is this is essentially a way for us to be able to meet them right. where they're at. This yeah. is a, a major yeah. pop superstar. This is someone who's made major strides within black music in yeah. particular. And then for me, I also think about place-based learning. Yeah, I teach at a absolutely. school that's pretty much just right outside of Houston. She's talking about things that's also specific to their own upbringing and their own community. Do you see higher grades? Yes. yes. Well, I yeah. see certainly more okay. engagement. Right, yeah. The uh -huh. students are more willing then to do the reading and, and the homework and the follow-up, yeah. right? When it's connected to something that's related to popular culture. Yeah. What about when, so Beyonce, uh, what can you say about her bringing empowerment and um, and inclusion and representation to the students. Absolutely, so much of this Renaissance album had been about um, self-affirmation, self-love. I think a lot of the kids got latched onto the I'm alien superstar, yeah. right? And, and embracing this sort of difference, the difference of being queer, the difference of being trans, the difference of being you know, someone who might be neurodivergent. And I think they see themselves very much so in the lyrics and the inclusivity that it yeah. provides and a lot of the imagery itself as well.
Yeah. Have you had so the opportunity? To, yeah, go ahead. It, it's a way to bring those themes that we're seeing in Multiple. society into oh, a certainly. university setting. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it is really fascinating. Have you had an opportunity to listen to the album this morning? Yes. So on the way, oh, I did. I was driving down to 290 and I listened it's to so Cowboy early. Carter. Yeah. Uh, it dropped at midnight, yeah. so you got to make time. I will say my favorite. I really love how she reworked Jolene. Yeah. Um, that has been really. That's good. the one I can't wait to hear. Oh, it, yes. it's awesome. And Dolly P's message, Dolly yes. Parton's you, message is called Dolly P. I heard you talk P. about that hussy. Yes, yes. I had a hussy back then, I Jolene. Love I that love it. That callback was oh, wonderful. Oh, you've got to listen to it. When you were on the air at 7, I was listening to <laughs> oh, it. Uh, Protector's really good. Just it for is. fun is excellent. Yes. There, there, Blackbird. There, yeah, there are several Tanner. good ones. Mm -hmm. There are, what, 27 songs? I only got through, yes. like, maybe... Ten of them. Thus far, it, I'm not finished yet, but it's, yeah. it's sounding like a really good album. I'm really enjoying it. Really good stuff. I love yes. it. Dr. Hope, thank you so much for your time thank this you morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah.